Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol CHPT charge point. So, um, we're covering charge point today, not because there's some major news about the stock, but because the stock has actually uh, reached some technical analysis points that I like, and uh, I'm looking at at least a reverser and maybe taking a swing trade in this particular zone. So that's what I want to discover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to charge point, uh, we obviously know, I mean, when it, they are the number one uh, leader in the United States as far as providing electric vehicle charging stations across the country. So they lead that space. They have about 70% of the market right now when it comes to charging stations. So they are the leaders. Uh, Bling has about 8% and then EVgo and all the other charging stations uh, share the, rem the, the remainder of the market. But ChargePoint is the leader in that space. Um, if you haven't already, definitely go to the website, read about the company because they are doing some um, awesome things. So for those of you that don't really know, you can just look at it. They have our, they provide the services to businesses. Again, like I've talked about, if you go to, let's say Target, you would see a charging station outside. You go to your local golf course, like I did at my local golf course, and they had a charge point um, a station right there where people can actually charge their vehicles. And so, I mean, I think it's a good idea. So they, they provide the solutions to individual to individuals, um, residential, uh, as well as commercial. So you would see uh, charge point in all these different locations. Uh, again, the reason why I wanted to cover charge point today, like I said, is because they are, um, from a technical analysis standpoint, the stock is actually getting into a zone that I, I really like. Um, so I'm going to jump right on here so we can actually take a look and see what that means. So this is charge point and right now I have my chart set to this. Um, so you can see here. So here's what I want you to pay attention to. And this is what I am actually looking. This is why I'm actually paying attention to this. Uh, if we notice like charge point, even when their earnings came out, uh, I think two weeks ago or so, I, and I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't anticipate that the earnings would be going to be that good. I, I know they, they, they actually increased their revenue year over year, but I didn't think it was going to come out and be really positive. So, and that came out somewhere, I think somewhere around here. And then if you see this little spike right here, uh, it, it, go, it, go, it went from 21 to about 23 or 20, yeah, 23. Um, that was because their revenue came out and it was positive. Um, but then it look at that since then it pulled back. So this is, and when I did a video maybe two weeks ago, when I talked about charge point, that's why I kept saying like these levels down here, this is where I'm looking at, start looking at uh, buying charge point for uh, a potential reverser. Just go back here. This is what charge point has done in the past. This $20 uh, uh, price point here to me that is, is showing as support. So if it breaks 20 and then that is a potential risk, but between uh, under 20, so between 20 and 19, I would definitely uh, feel comfortable taking a long position. So each time this stock is actually uh, gone down to about 20, it bounce. So from here, look at that, all the way to 31. Pull back again, hit 20, bounce, all the way to 26. Bounce again when it hit 20, and this one got squeezed all the way to 30, almost $36. And then uh, pull back. And now we'll, we'll see looking at that bounce off of um, that 20. So at these levels, this is where I feel comfortable um, getting into the trade. So again, anything from 20 and 19 in that range, I'm gonna definitely take a trade. Uh, and I'm actually gonna be buying um, option calls on this one. I'm not gonna buy the stock because I, I think that if I buy option calls, I can potentially make a lot more money and, and risk less money um, or tie up less liquidity in this swing trade. So I'll give you guys uh, a, a kind of my walkthrough here. So if you take, for instance, if you buy, um, let's say 100 shares of 
charge point at twenty dollars so you're looking at two grand to go into that trade so if you buy uh call options because right i'm actually looking at um december 17 call options for charge point i think strike price is about 38 dollars it's showing me right now it's about the ask there is about 42 dollars so i can buy 100 shares for 42 dollars again in this case i'm buying one contract which is 100 shares um and if this is new to you guys i'm actually working on some videos here where i'm going to share my option strategy um i don't consider myself an expert in options but definitely i'm actually doing options and trading some options uh, because it really allows me to use my liquidity um even more efficiently so uh if i buy 100 shares here at 20 in which is one contract it's going to cost me 42 dollars uh, and the strike price there is 38 bucks so again if if the, the, i'm only risking 42 dollars to get a hundred um, uh, shares in this case and if it bounce back and move all the way to that 38 dollar price point guess what i'm in the money i'm gonna make some good money if it starts to pull back i can always close on um, that particular position and get out um, and not lose my entire uh, liquidity so in this case i'm risking 42 dollars uh, for a potential of making um three four hundred dollars so that's my game plan so in this case i might go in and buy maybe about 10 contracts at 42 uh, dollars and contracts cost me about 420 dollars compared to buying 100 shares outright at uh two thousand dollars so if you see right there it just doesn't add up as far as using my liquidity the right way so that's my game plan but again what i wanted to show you guys is that this level right here uh this blue line that's where i think um i'm gonna start buying um again under 20 somewhere around 19 1950 i'm gonna i'm gonna buy here um now for that reverser back to the upside if you can see here the first target here that i have it um somewhere about 33 33 dollars so that's my first target but it doesn't mean that you have to sit in the trade and wait until it gets to 33. uh you can start looking at uh your your take profit strategy so you can say hey if this thing goes from 20 to even if it hits 30 uh you can take 50 percent of your position out um if it goes to 32 that you can take another 50 percent of your position out and then just a continuously take profit as it goes up um to the point where if it gets to say 40 you might have about 10 or 15 percent of your position again you're still enjoying that benefit of not completely getting out of the trade so you have to have your personal uh, uh take profit strategy and if you can see down here the red line here where i have my stop loss again in this case since i'm buying options if this thing starts to pull back um again i don't want this thing to 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 expire with me expiring in zero so if it starts to pull back and it gets to these levels here i am just going to close the position and take my loss and and walk away but remember i'm only risking if i buy um a 100 uh, if i buy 10 contracts at 42 dollars that's only going to cost me 420 but when i say risking 420 i'm not gonna sit here and watch the 420 disappear i'm gonna watch and as soon as i see like it's time to pull back if it's not the trade is not going in my direction then i'm gonna cut my losses and and get out so those are um again i'm the, the second target here the second green line up here that's me being very ambitious um again we can see here that this was back in uh december of our 2020 when it got to this high uh up here at about 47 dollars and then um i think as of 2021 uh we only got to it back in january and sometime in march when we got up to 40. so um ever since then the stock has just not been able to go crack that 40 again so again this uh target number two is me being ambitious but again target number one is where i would see if this thing bounce and squeeze back to the upside that's where I would see charge point uh, making some waves. So we'll see how this goes, but that's what I wanted to cover in this video. So again, this is my plan. This is my strategy. 
there's no major news right now uh, on ChargePoint. The only things that I see with ChargePoint is because um, when we talk, they're talking about the infrastructure bill, the infrastructure bill has uh, a ton of uh, um, wording in there for electric vehicles, electrifying America, and um, talking about building charging station across the country. Because right now, for, for, for people that have electric vehicles, uh, one of the things that makes them panic a lot is because if you want to travel across the country, the range for most uh, electric vehicles right now is somewhere between 125 to 250 average. I know uh, uh, cars like Tesla can go all the way to 400. Um, Lucy just um, announced that they can do 520. So the range is, is gradually increasing, but the average right now is somewhere between 125 and 250. So that's not really gonna make somebody comfortable if you have to do a 600 mile uh, trip. So you want to be sure, because right now, if you're doing it with your uh, combustion engine, you know for sure that there's gas stations along the way that you can stop. But if, you don't, if you're not sure about a charge station, and then you might not feel comfortable taking that trip. So I think um, it, Electrifying America and the infrastructure bill would be stuff that would really push this to, to move forward. If the infrastructure bill goes through, and then you might see charge point even skyrocket. But again, it is no guarantee that's gonna go through. So you have to be careful uh, with your trade. That's why we have stop loss. Um, so that if you go in and the trade is not going in your favor, you can always get out. So this will be a swing trade opportunity for me. And um, if you guys are also gonna get in the trade again, guys, I want you to do your analysis and make sure that um, you're doing the right thing. Uh, before getting uh, into the trade. So uh, again, my plan here is to swing this and take profit as, as, as it goes up. So if I see like it's not gonna get to my, my target number one, which is about $33, then I, I'm gonna kind of start taking profit somewhere that I feel comfortable. Again, you can never blow up your account securing profit. So when there's profit in there, take some. You don't have to take, you don't have to liquidate your position again. Have a profit taking plan. Say, put in when you set those targets, make sure you follow them. If you say, hey, if it gets to $28, I'm going to sell 50%. If it gets to $28, sell 50 um, and then hold the remaining 50%. Just so um, you know for sure you've already secured some profit. You say, if it gets to $33, i am going to say another 50% uh, of what's left. You sell 50% of what's left and hopefully. Uh, see it move up to say 40 again that's being very ambitious so that's what i'm going to cover in this video again let me know in the comment section what you think do you can really own a uh, charge point in your portfolio if you do then you can actually benefit from this if you bought it at these levels and then you can actually sell some cover calls um and maybe strike price of 38 so that if it goes up to that 38 um you can still sell so you can sell it uh, and make profit, but again, on top of the premium that you're gonna collect from the cover call. So those are some of the things that uh, I'm, I'm gonna start talking a lot more about here on the channel because I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking me if I do options. I do trade options, but I haven't done any videos on that, so I'm gonna start sharing that uh, with you guys here on the channel. Again, if you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, again, I'm going to put the links in the description below. Weibo has tons of promotions where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.